Tonight, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee is denying allegations someone from his office took part in an attempted bribery to pass the school voucher bill. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Now, it centers around a report regarding embattled outgoing House Speaker Glenn Cassida, who's about to step down. And that's amid several scandals, including misuse of funds and lewd and racist texts. Well, now he's uh, fighting back, right? That's right. And uh, that's against claims he tried to bribe House members to pass Governor Lee's controversial voucher bill. Suspicions grew when Cassida kept the vote open for nearly 40 minutes, reportedly to twist some arms and get the bill passed. The latest accusation comes from Democratic Representative John Mark Wendell of Livingston. He told Nashville TV station WTVF, the Cassidy said he'd get promoted from colonel to general in the Army National Guard if he flipped his no vote to yes, but Wendell refused. The WTVF report also states a member of Governor Lee's administration was present during that conversation. In fact, it says Wendell was put on the phone to talk to the governor at least twice. Governor Lee's office stopped short of a full denial, saying no one from his team is aware of a conversation to that effect. Cassida has taken down a post on his Facebook page yesterday denying any quid pro quo on the voucher bill or others. Now facing an audit, Cassida's posted a link to check his campaign finances. That link shows his PAC has more than half a million dollars, which he's used to donate to other candidates. Cassida is set to resign as Speaker August 2nd. House Republicans are supposed to nominate his replacement on Wednesday.